Hey, I'm Chris. I'm a former Republican. I was for 20 years of my life, and I live in Allegheny County near Pittsburgh. I'm here to stress that every vote needs to be counted this election. We're in the middle of an unmitigated pandemic, and everyone I know here has voted by either dropping off their mail ballot or by mailing it in. We knew it was going to take time to tabulate all the ballots because our state legislature would have passed a change to our process for validating a mailing ballot early, like in the happening Florida. So here we are, in the same boat as the other states they are taking a while to catch up with tabulating all the ballots, like Alaska or North Carolina. However, our election workers and our local leaders are the targets for baseless attacks, simply because my neighbors and I rejected Donald Trump this election. You know, I couldn't support Donald Trump when I was a Republican back in 2016, because it was clear to me that he didn't grasp the concept of service and duty that the job requires, and looked at it instead as some kind of popularity contest to be run expect them to be adored by everyone all the time. It wasn't like he had any grand plan himself to become an autocrat, but his narcissism and his absolute lack of virtue was always going to conflict with the democratic norms that make America, America, and that he would wear them down over time and push us further in that direction. That's been the case, and the reason I'm no longer Republican is because others in the party who had a responsibility to apply the right checks on his behavior constantly failed to do so. Now he's trying to disrupt the most in important democratic principles we have. Uh, free and fair elections and the peace for transfer of power. Because he's a small man who can't understand why we wouldn't re-elect an impeached president who constantly undermined any intelligent response to a national health emergency. And once again, we have the familiar sycophants in the Republican Party who enable this delusion for him. Trump is a loser, and failing to acknowledge that only hurts our republic more. I'm tired of feeling like I have to constantly babysit this administration and keep up with all of their affronts to our system of government over and over again. When the math made it clear that there was no possible scenario left for Trump and the race was called on Saturday, it realization that we were going to have an actual president again gave me an immense feeling of calm. Because the voters have spoken, Joe Biden is our president-elect, and he will be our next president.